Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here and welcome back to another video and today is a very special day for all uh, football fans uh, because today is uh, the Super Bowl day and although to me personally, um, I'm not really a Super Bowl guy myself, I mainly um like I'm mainly invested in the Super Bowl uh, just for the, the, the trailers and TV spots uh, for um, upcoming blockbusters and yeah, usually that, that's where we get to see a lot of trailers. Some of them, uh, some of the trailers so we get are just, you know, um, first time trailers. Uh, trailers that, uh, uh, like, I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Like first trailer or some of them can be the second trailer. And just maybe some TV spots as well. Uh, I still like TV spots even though they're uh, mostly um, three seconds. So, yeah. Um, now I'm here today to... Um, talk about them all uh, to uh, give you guys my thoughts on this year's uh, Super Bowl uh, like trailers and TV spots uh, lineup uh, and yeah so uh, now um, I already did a I did a separate video um talking about uh, the trailer for Fast X uh, because there's a lot to say about that Fast X trailer uh, that chair was like uh, 10 minutes long I mean uh, that chair was like uh, almost four minutes long and uh, there are there was so much of that trailer. There, there were like there was like so much to say about it. So I'll put a link for my Fast X, uh, my um, Fast X uh, trailer review um, in the description. Um, but I will say that it, it's probably my my second favorite Super Bowl trailer. Um, you, you, I think you can probably guess what my favorite is as I talk about it in this video. So yeah. Um, so without further ado, let's get on with my thoughts. So first, I'm gonna start off with the, with the TV spots because I have the least to say about the TV spots uh, because, you know, the TV spots are usually short, but I, I'd still like to give my thoughts on them. So the first um, TV spot, Super Bowl TV spot I want to talk about is Transformers Rise of the Beast. Uh, now, um, I do have a love and hate relationship for, the, for uh, the Transformers films. I mean, Michael Bay's Transformers would range from mediocre to total garbage. Um, and uh, and um, I love the bumblebee i think bumblebee is a masterpiece i, I think it's underrated uh, no one that talks about bumblebee uh, i can't wait to review bumblebee and uh, rant on the um bad michael bay transformers movies uh, leading up to, to this film um and um yeah now i, I was really impressed with the the, the, the first year we got uh, now this movie def definitely doesn't this doesn't look anything uh doesn't look um, as good as Bumblebee, but I think it looks better than any, any of the Bay Formers films. I will say that um, I, I, I was impressed with the trailer. It, it does look a lot of fun. Uh, it looks like a total blast. This trailer was good. I mean, this TV spot was good. I liked it, but I, I honestly think it's the weakest uh, um, pro promotion, in, 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 to, the weakest to, to come out of the uh, Super Bowl. Maybe um, this mo the movie itself, maybe like one of the more... Um, one of the more exciting um well i'm sure you know what i mean by that um like one of the movies i'm more excited for um but this uh trailer itself um was um um it didn't really do much for me i mean there's some really cool action set pieces i mean i still love the cgi and um, um optimus and bumblebee like their um yeah their short mini appearances like one second appearances was cool the main problem with this uh Super, with this uh, Super Bowl TV spot is that uh, all all they did is just um, introduce Mirage it, um, and then they're like oh hi I'm Mirage it's like they're um, it, it doesn't really do much like not much there's not much to see in this uh, trailer it's just uh, um, like what I said cool action set pieces and an introduction to a new Autobot named Mirage uh, um, I think it um, a cool, looks like a cool character. I have no idea what gender it is. If you know Mirage's gender, uh, let me know that in the comments. Uh, but yeah, um, I mean, this movie's gonna be cool. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely see it. But again, there's, there wasn't much in this trailer. Not much to say. So definitely the weakest. And then we get to Creed 3. Yeah, Creed 3, um, we have uh, less than a month ago. I mean, I am a huge fan of Rocky and Creed. Uh, um, I, I love I'm actually a fan of boxing. I love watching boxing, especially with my uh, local um, boxer uh, Manny Pacquiao. I, um, yeah, I, I think um, they should make a there should be a Manny Pacquiao um, biopic. I mean, maybe when I uh, become a filmmaker, if ever I do, I I like to make a, a Manny Pacquiao a biopic. Uh, that would be awesome. But um, yeah, go so back to the topic. Um, I haven't seen every single Rocky film yet. I haven't seen Rocky two. Um, 
Um, I only saw I saw Rocky three, but I only saw it just for the um Eye of the Tiger song. Um, I haven't seen uh Rocky five and Rocky Balboa. Um, I I mean I actually saw bits and pieces of Rocky three. I didn't watch the entire movie actually. My bad. Um, but yeah. Um. Uh, I have seen the first Rocky movie. I saw Rocky Four uh, mainly because of how uh, Creed Two ties into Rocky Four, and I've definitely seen the first two Creed movies. Uh, I'm actually more of a Creed fan than a Rocky fan, in my personal opinion. Uh, um, Creed is a perfect legacy sequel, and Creed Two um, is my favorite in the entire Rocky franchise. I think Creed Two is an underrated gem, and yeah, I can't wait to review this entire franchise uh, leading up to, to Creed Three as well as uh, watch uh, Rock, Rocky Two, Three, Five, and. Uh, Rocky Balboa for the first time. All I'm not excited for Rocky Five, honestly. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I'm really excited for Creed Three. It is definitely in my top ten most anticipated movies of the year. And that first trailer was I love that first trailer. Uh, I even did that trailer style outfit with Cobra with uh, Cobra Kai. Um, go check it out in my Frozen Edit channel. Uh, just uh, um, see the link in my uh, community post. Uh, but yeah, this. Now, um, I think I'm hyped enough for it, um, so this uh, TV spot doesn't really um, add to the hype, uh, but I will say that this, uh, this TV spot is almost just as impressive, impressive, impressive as the actual trailer. I mean, I love the, whole, the style of it, the, edit, the way it was edited, like, you know, you see the, um, the three um, logo, um, like, like trying to fade um, I, 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 as they're showing the scenes, uh, that's a really cool edit. Um, and it looks like they're they're showing a lot more to um to um Creed and um Damien's uh backstory um Damien like uh, Jonathan Major's character, um and and yeah um it, it and the boxing scenes that they show um they look really intense and you you, you, you can tell that they uh, they they shot in IMAX and yes uh, they shot the boxing scenes in IMAX and I'm definitely here for it uh, yeah I can't wait for this movie um. Yeah, not much else to say. Yeah, I I'm ready for Creed 3. Yeah, this movie is going to be awesome. And now let's talk about Indiana Jones and a Dial of Destiny. Now, I'm excited for this film. I wouldn't say I'm through the roof high for it, but this is in my top 20 most anticipated movies of, uh, of 2023. I love Indiana Jones. I mean, I like all the films. Yes, including King of the Crystal Skull. I think the King of the Crystal Skull is... I think it's fine, but I, I think it's good, but not great, though. But I actually it's overhated, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, um, Dial of Destiny, um, it's going to feature an old um, Indiana Jones. Uh, Harrison Ford is old now, and uh, um, thankfully, he's not going to die in the movie. I heard that they said that he won't die. They're not going to kill him off. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, and I mean... I mean, I like the that teaser trailer that, that they put out back in December, but I'm not through the roof high for it. I'm not like too excited for it, like too hype. Um, but I will say, um, despite I me liking the teaser trailer, I think this one, this TV spot, I actually managed to surpass uh, the the teaser trailer. Yeah, I mean, I like this more. I mean, it look uh, yeah. Um, this definitely um added to my excitement uh, of of the upcoming of this film. Uh. Yeah, th this uh, trailer is more action packed. I mean, it's uh, I mean, it's more action packed. It actually has a better score. I mean, in the teaser trailer for this uh, film, uh, the 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 iconic music that they played is mainly a different version, but this one is actually the real iconic version. And man, now hearing that song in um in this TV spot really gave me chills. And yeah, um, I really, I really look forward to this film, and I can't wait for Matt Mikkelsen to be um villain as well. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about it. And then we get to the last uh, TV Super Bowl TV spot review, and it is on uh, Scream Six. Yeah, I think um, I've already said enough about how much I'm hyped for this on, on Instagram. But for all you um, you, um YouTubers out there, um, YouTube subscribers who doesn't have Instagram, uh, let me tell you all that I am I am so 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 hyped for Scream Six. This is my most uh, anticipated horror movie of the year. In fact, saying that's an understatement. I think this is going to be the best Scream movie ever made. Uh, that uh, that official trailer that they put out last month uh, absolutely blew me away. I still rewatch the trailer to this day, and I think Scream that that official trailer. Um, I think that might be the greatest uh, horror trailer um ever made. Period. And yeah, I it, it's definitely my top five most anticipated uh, movies of the year. And I think I put it, I might have put it a bit too low in my um. Well, I forgot where I put it in the, in the video, but I will say that. My my top ten most anticipated movies of 2023 uh, video is uh, 
kind of outdated. Um, but I mean, yeah, this uh, TV spot, I think it's just as just as impressive as the um, actual trailer that they put out. I mean, this movie like shows you that this is probably going to be the, the the scariest and and the most intense of the Scream franchise. I mean, I mean the the stakes are going to be raised uh, even higher than it than it's ever been. I mean, we're we're seeing like um. Like you know, um, actual stakes to it. I mean, especially in a city, and there's some like real horrors to it. Um, and uh, I I I love that that we saw um, more uh Jenna Ortega. And yes, uh, one of the main reasons I'm high for this film is Jenna Ortega. Yeah, I am a huge fan of her. She's in my um top ten favorite actresses of all time. I think maybe higher. Um, uh, I'm not sure where I put her yet. Um, but she's definitely my top ten favorite actresses of all time. Like she definitely blew me away as Wednesday and. Tara is my favorite Scream character, so I can't. Um, for sure she'll be the best character here. I'm also hyped to see Kirby. I mean, I can I, I I mean, Kirby was okay in Scream Four, but um, but this one she looks a lot better. I mean, uh, she's gonna be better than Scream Four for sure, and I love how hot she looks. Uh, yeah, she looks really hot. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, my, and um, I think one of my favorite shots in this trailer was when uh Mindy was trying to um cross uh from building to building with a ladder, and then you see uh. Ghostface face there um about to um uh, about to like uh, kill her by uh, pushing the ladder off and then uh, making Mindy fall so it's really suspenseful like I I, I would think they're, they're gonna kill off Mindy but yeah we'll see I also love uh, that part where like in, um um where Tyra was like oh come on you mother and and then I caught so before she says that f word yeah um wow I mean this I mean although uh, um I actually wish that uh, this uh, came out uh, today um, um the same day as the other super bowl trailers but at the same time i am glad we got this uh, in advance this is the first uh this was the very first uh, promotional material of uh, um the super bowl uh, 2023 this and fast x trailers that came out in advance i didn't get a chance to talk about this one but i did talk about fast x uh, um so yeah um th that's pretty much it for me um that's all i can say um uh, but yeah now let's move on to the full-on trailers the one you've all been waiting for i i'm sure you've all been waiting for me to talk about these two trailers so uh, now let's talk, talk about the flash trailer um yeah this is gonna be a very interesting one um um if, if you've been following me on instagram you probably know that I'm, i was not looking forward to this movie because um i mean now i don't usually judge movies are based on controversy i don't hate on movies just because of its controversy well despite um well um, with the extension of amber heard i mean i don't hate uh, i don't dislike a whole man just because of amber heard it's mainly because the movie is just bland and and uh, gen i think it's just generic and, and and also boring like it just it just didn't really age well on rewatch uh, but um yeah i mean so I mean, despite uh, my huge uh, hatred towards Ezra Miller, yeah, I'm not um, defending him for his uh, crimes. Yeah, Ezra Miller is a criminal. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I mean, this, um, it's not really the reason why I'm not excited for The Flash. It, it was mainly because of the ideas. I feel like it sounds so far too overstuffed. I mean, you got Michael Keaton's Batman in there. Um, you got the erasure of the DCU. I mean, plus, uh, for a solo film like The Flash, I feel like they're putting way too much in it. But... After seeing the trailer for myself, uh, I gotta say, that was actually pretty good. Now, I will admit, I think this trailer is slightly overrated. Uh, because a lot of people say, oh, this is the best trailer ever. This is one of the greatest trailers. Like, people are calling this one of the greatest trailers ever made. Uh, they say this is gonna be the best uh, DCU movie and, and, and one of the best uh, superhero movies ever. I mean, James Gunn himself uh, called it the best, uh, one of the greatest superhero movies ever. And... I have a feeling this is gonna be the Puss in Boots last wish of uh, superhero movies uh, and live action movies where like, you know, uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but uh, the actual movie ends up being a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But um, I think this could, I think this movie is probably gonna get rave reviews. Uh, um, and, and, and then to be, I'm gonna say, okay, well, I like it, but it's not that good. It's not a masterpiece. So I, I think that's what's gonna happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if it should. Now I will say, I'm not excited to see The Flash. I'm not excited to see Ezra Miller in this film. Uh, the, I mean, I'm not excited for the title character. I think he, he's going to be the, the, the weakest the link in this movie. I think he's going to be the worst part in this movie, in my opinion. Yeah, sorry. I'm not... I mean, honestly, this should have been just a Batman movie. Just, you know, uh, this should have been just... Uh, 
either a Batman movie or a or a Supergirl movie. Um, not a Flash movie. Uh, um, but yeah. Um, I'm sure. Um, you all know why everyone is hyped for this movie. It's because of Michael Keaton's Batman. I mean, you know, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ma- Michael Keaton is, is one of the most uh, iconic uh, versions of Batman. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people really like like got the uh, um had chills when uh when Michael Keaton saw Batman appeared and uh, he's like, I'm Batman, and then he just uh because of badass. I mean. Uh, my concern was that I thought Michael Keaton was uh, far too old to play Batman, but actually no. Uh, he, I mean, you still feel like he still feels like Batman to this day, and I like it. Um, and Ben Affleck is back. That's cool. Um, I think Supergirl is gonna be the best part of this whole film. I mean, I will admit though. Um, I think um, I, I prefer a more comic accurate version of Supergirl. I think they could have gotten someone better, but I'm actually really f- totally fine with uh, Sasha Kale. I think she, she'll nail it as Supergirl and uh, yeah Supergirl's gonna be awesome um I I can't wait to see Supergirl um the visuals look absolutely really good um look really the um the, the visuals like, like look it, it looks incredible the visuals it looks visually stunning and the story sounds pretty good pretty solid yeah so overall, this was a pretty good trailer. Um, I do think it's overpraised, and I I think the movie itself is kind of overhyped. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this film. I'm definitely watching this in theaters. I'm gonna watch um, Elemental first before this trailer. Um, before this movie, I'm gonna watch. But I will see both movies in theaters. So yeah, um, that's all for my um trailer review for the Flash. And now, let's get into um the highlight of this um, of uh, the Super Bowl trailers. Uh, now let's talk about my favorite uh, Super Bowl trailer, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Um, wow. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm really excited for this film. I'm, I was already hyped for it uh, because Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's one of the best MCU franchises. I think um this one like if if they nail it, uh, this is gonna be the best MCU trilogy. I mean, uh, I- I've given like the first two films a ten out of ten. I mean, which I I I. Um, despite home, the Homecoming Spider-Man trilogy being the best MCU trilogy, I didn't really give um, Homecoming a, ten, a, a straight ten out of ten. I think I think that movie is a little bit flawed, uh, and uh, same with Captain America. I mean, the first film is flawed, uh, but the, the two sequels are masterpieces. Uh, but uh, yeah, this trailer was absolutely incredible. I love this trailer. Um, this is going to be. This is already the best the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and. Maybe this I I could even go as far as calling this the best James Bond movie, even uh, dethroning the dethroning the, the Suicide Squad. Then, yeah, um, you can't make a you cannot make a Guardians of the Galaxy movie without James Gunn. I mean, this is a James this is gonna be James Gunn's uh, signature movie. This is gonna be the last time we're seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy on screen, and it's gonna be a really um emotional um um emotional um movie. And man, yeah, this. Um, probably could even be even more emotional than Black Panther Wakanda forever. Um, or maybe at least just as emotional. Um, yeah, it's gonna be the last time we're gonna be we're ever gonna be seeing the the Guardians of the Galaxy on screen, and it's gonna be really sad. I'm sure someone will die. I think Rocket's gonna die, and man, it's gonna be an emotional death. Um, um, I I could tell. I mean, uh, yeah, Rocket's gonna be the main character in this, and I and I'm intrigued by it as Rocket is one of my favorites. Uh. I will say that there are better Guardians members than Rocket. I mean, uh, Mantis, uh, Gamora, um, and uh, Starter, but Rocket is definitely my top five favorite uh, members. Or maybe if it, maybe maybe if you count Yondu as a member, then yeah, Yondu would be right up there as well. Um, but yeah, um, I I mean, this was a super emotional trailer. I literally teared up in this trailer. Um, I yeah, le- legit cried in this trailer. Um, it was so emotional, and um. Like the music, um, uh, the, the music in this uh, trailer is just beautiful. I think God, that music might be the best Guardians of the Galaxy um, song ever, dethroning the chains. And uh, I mean, it looks like um, this is gonna have like a bigger stakes to it. Like, like it's really gonna have a lot more action than the other Guardians of the Galaxy films. And yeah, uh, um, um, and uh, Chris Pratt, I mean, Star Lord is his best role, but I think. Uh, Looking, judging by his chair, I think this, he's going to be giving his best performance in uh, in his entire career. I mean, you could tell, especially from um th- from that one crying scene. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, 
And yeah, wow. I mean, I, I'm really blown away by this trailer. I think this trailer is underrated as well because I've heard I've heard some people say that they don't care about this trailer. I mean, wow. wow I mean, that's just unfair. I mean, I, I think people only say say that uh, just to praise the Flash trailer. I mean, at least this trailer gum has more views than the Flash trailer. But uh, yeah, a lot of people saying, oh, it's not that good. I mean. The, I understand people think the teaser trailer is way better if they prefer the teaser trailer because the teaser trailer is phenomenal. But yeah, this trailer, I think you should give this a chance. Maybe this trailer will grow on you more uh, and get you more hype for it. Uh, I will say I'm still slightly more hype for Ant-Man The Wasp Quantumania, but I'm still uh, through the roof hype for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I mean, I am definitely not. Uh, I mean, I definitely need this film now. Um, yeah. And yeah, um, yeah, it's gonna be the end. It's gonna be one of the best uh, MCU conclusions uh, since uh, Endgame, and hopefully this uh, movie will uh, get will become uh, raved by critics and audiences. Uh, this will uh, like we haven't seen an MCU movie um raved uh, yet yet um, ever after, ever since uh, No Way Home came out. Uh, MC movies have have gotten uh, mixed reviews, and Quantum is already getting hated. That which sucks. So hopefully this movie can. Uh, bring back people to uh love the mcu once again so yeah uh i'm tired of the mcu hate i mean i miss the time when people fanboy the mcu we need that back we need the mcu fanboys up back uh, so yeah um that's all for my chair for guys of gassy volume 3 um best trailer of the super bowl uh yeah so that's all for my thoughts on, on the super bowl chairs uh this was the best year for the super bowl yet uh I know, I know that there, there's no elemental trailer or no little memory trailer. I'm okay with no elemental trailer, but little memory trailer, yes, there's no trailer for that uh, horrible film. That the film's gonna suck. It, 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 and uh, if it actually did drop it in the Super Bowl, uh, it would uh, totally ruin the Super Bowl. Uh, so yeah. So um, what is what are your opinion on these trailers? Uh, what is your favorite uh, Super Bowl trailer uh, this year? Comment down below. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and. Uh, Stay tuned for more videos to come, and also please check out my Fast X trailer um review in the uh in the um description below. I mean that one I actually had the most to say about that, that trailer considering how much there was. But yeah, bye guys.